Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to more Let's Play Star Ocean, the second story, our bonus section. My name is Rabbit, and for today's video, we are going to be focusing on Floor 6, or Level 6, also known as Burglar's Nest. And I specifically like this floor for a couple of reasons, one being that it's roughly the halfway point through the Cave of Trials, so that means we have been successful in persevering and surviving, which is always a good thing. But the other two reasons that I like this floor is, first of all, we are going to finally be able to utilize an object we received as a reward when we completed the Rattle the Traveler side quest way, way a long time ago. So I will make sure to equip that and show it to you guys once again as soon as I get on the floor. But the final thing that makes level 6 so cool is that there is kind of a secret shop there. It's not so much a secret as much as it is just random. So if someone is only running through the Cave of Trials in one or two fell swoops, they may never go on the time when the shopkeeper is going to be present and I don't know the exact statistical number that the shopkeeper will appear I would guess that it's about one in four maybe one in five but you know for sure just run through yourself and see how often or not you get them to appear but anyway that's enough for an intro let me go ahead and pause the camera and run all the way down to the end of floor five and then we will start level six together so I'll see you in just a second everybody Alrighty, and here we are. So, first things first, I do want to go ahead and just remind you of what the Funny Slayer looks like and what its description is. So, we presently have one from the Rattle the Traveler side quest, but if you didn't opt to go back and do that when I had demonstrated how you can accomplish that, then don't worry too much about it. There are going to be some funny monsters on floor 6, and this does kill them in one blow. And if you're fighting the little weak stupid ass brown ones it's not a big deal because they're pretty easy to kill but there are some gray metal ones that are also on this floor and they appear occasionally that you can't defeat without having the funny slayer so i think it's good to go ahead and have it now but if you didn't get it we will get one on this floor as a reward for defeating the final boss here so don't sweat it too much but anyway so that's the information for it i think i gave you plenty of time to check it out there while i was talking about it so let's just go ahead and hit up the floor. Oh, I <laughs> definitely need to equip it on someone. I'm just gonna, I'll give it to Opera actually. And what I will do is probably use Leon because no one else is going to be able to do too much to the gray metal guys. And the brown ones are very easily defeated. So again, just to reiterate, this is level six, also known as Burglar's Nest. So I'll probably also leave in all of the battles just because these are gonna be super fast, super easy. As I already explained, the brown guys, we saw them way, way ago on Expel. I believe we encountered these right outside of Arlia, but if not, it was outside of the Salva, is that what it's called? Salva, wasn't that the town? I believe so. Anyway, way, the place where Alan Tax was and he kidnapped Rena. But oh, perfect. Here are those gray guys. And you will see they are already gone because of that lovely funny slayer. And they grant quite a lot of XP. So this is a wonderful floor for getting levels. Obviously, make sure you have practice on if that is going to be your whole purpose for doing that. But anyway, this is the statue room. We're going to have a fight before I can finish explaining it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter this since these take like five seconds. But anyway, this statue room is what I lovingly call Santa's hideout because every single time you enter the Cave of Trials, there is a chance that the shopkeeper will appear here. Like I already mentioned in my intro, I don't know the exact statistical number, but I would guess from my experience that it's somewhere between 20 and 25% uh, a chance of you finding him every single time you enter the Cave of Trials. So keep in mind, he doesn't appear each time you leave and enter the room. It has to be the complete Cave of Trials refreshed from you exiting and then re-entering the entire thing. So it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it's absolutely worth it because he does have some outstanding items that are either hard to find or impossible to find elsewhere, such as the Sage's Stone. I have a couple of them, but they are great for crafting very rare and powerful items later on. You can find the non-bootleg version of the Tri emblem it is called the tri emblem the real one and then there is an object that will finally let you leave 
dungeons or caves, and it is called the Go Home Frog. And those are the three main things that I like to pick up from him, but you'll get to see whenever we finally have a chance to visit with him uh, what he has to offer. So, anyway, while we are here in this room, I'm going to go ahead and investigate some other sections, but we will be coming back here to to metal. And that one's gone. And Opera got rid of the other one. I was hoping to show you guys that I couldn't attack them, but I didn't have a chance. Opera's alpha on one is too strong. Well, let me quickly antidote Leon. And let's start off by heading up here. We've got some items kind of hidden. Nothing really too special. So if you're not that interested in the whole collecting all the treasure in here, you can skip Is this, it? this part. Well, let's take it. The main thing for this floor, I would say, the main appeal is finding the secret shop guy or the random shop guy, Santa. That's probably the best thing about this floor. So everything else, meh. It's just kind of so-so. And we got a dream crown. I don't know. Have you guys seen this before? Well, let's very quickly check it out because I don't think this episode is going to be too long at all. And yeah, we've had one before, but I've been trying to get into the habit of showing you guys objects. So anyway, there is that. Now let's head back to the statue room after another fight. But I'm guessing this episode should be around 15 minutes, maybe a little less, just because the fights are easy. But yeah, as you can see, the rest of us who didn't have funny slayers equipped were only doing one health point worth of damage for each attack. So it's almost impossible to kill these things. So what we need to do is examine each of the statues with the funny monsters or the funny thieves. And one of them should have a switch. I can never remember which one. It might even be random, but it myself. may not be. So I don't hold me to that. Fall. All you need to know is that you just need to search the statues. And one of them is going to have a little switch that we need to press. And then it will grant us access to where we next need to venture. So nothing on this one. Nothing on this guy. Usually I think it's like someone on the bottom row, but it doesn't hurt to just check them on your way down, just in case. I don't know why I never can remember which one it is. I guess it's just one of those little what insignificant doing, things that at the end of the day... So yeah, there you go. They are fast, and every attack that they do poisons you if you haven't figured that out by now but look at that xp we are getting so many levels so i will probably spend a bit of time here myself after we finish this floor getting levels because it's just too good and especially since we will have two funny slayers when we're done with this floor it's too good okay so here it is this guy in the lower right hand side and the question is there is a button here do you want to press it and of course we absolutely do I heard a door opening in the distance, says Claude. So we want to immediately go to the left and fight <laughs> some more guys. What? Be careful. But as I've already noted, this is a, an excellent place to get lots of levels for everyone. Stop poisoning me. Oh man, I'll probably give the second funny slayer to Leon just for lols. My strength, that was easy. Okay, cool. So let me, again, get Antidote thrown on. Okay, so there isn't anything up there. I just wanted to double check. So to actually get to where we need to be, we need to head left. Is this it? I don't need to be involved, right? And then we will have our infamous boss fight. And yeah, I know, you guys, this is a really short episode. I feel kind of bad. I don't think there's any more treasure. I don't know why I keep thinking there's something in that upper section, but I'm pretty sure we're done. So let's now head up this way. And here is our boss. Hmm? Who is this? I'll take that, says Funny Thief level 99. Huh? Now these guys 
can be a pain in the ass. And I shouldn't say these guys because really it's just the, the thief that is going to be a problem later on. So on our next floor, we're going to fight quite a few of them. And usually if you're not of a certain level or you haven't really been skilling any of the combat skills properly, then you may have a bit of a hard time. But I mean... The funny guys are not a big deal. So anyway, continuing with his text here, he says, Hump. And we got a second funny slayer, as promised. Which is great. So before I actually have the music come back on, I, well, whatever, who cares? And <laughs> this will take just a quick second to share with you since this episode is going to be so short. So as you can see, we're kind of at a crossroads here. We have a left side and a right side that we can take. The right side will allow us to access stairs that will bring us to floor number seven, which will be in our next episode. But if we come over here to the left hand side, this is going to be yeah. our first way of getting back to the start of this, I guess, dungeon. So basically, the simple way of putting it is, this is a teleportation that will take us to the Cave of Trials exit. Which is really nice because if you haven't gone up to save yet, again, I think it's good to just heed the warning of many where the game does freeze for some people in the Cave of Trials. So if you don't want to go back, between every single floor like I do, you should at the very least go back after hitting level six and yeah, taking that little portal there. So as you can see, we are back at level one and that is going to conclude this very brief bonus episode of Let's Play Star Ocean, the second story. So thank you so much for joining me, everyone. When we do come back together in our next video, we are going to be tackling level seven, which should take a little bit more time than this one did. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing great. I hope you enjoyed me showing this floor and everything about it. And just so you know, in the future, when I am running down to other floors, if I do find the shopkeeper at uh, I guess the Santa's hideout I will be sure to let you guys see all the wares that he does have so don't worry about that just because we didn't see him in this episode doesn't mean that I will not showcase him in a different video as I am running through the floor so anyway that's it from me you guys rabbit is out and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week so take care until we tackle level seven together